all welcome back to our channel so students in this video i am doing a whole subject explanation video of rdbms which is useful for your tomorrow's examination because many of the students are requested me to do this explanation video so whatever the important questions i have discussed in damn sure questions or a quick revision that type of answers i am explaining in this video if you are having zero knowledge in this rdbms subject also if you watch this video carefully if you listen my explanation carefully means you will definitely understand the whole subject and you can easily score o grade in the subject so the first important question from first unit is explain about three level architecture it is also called ansi spark architecture or logical dbms architecture any question question paper lo a question ochina kuda ide answer ikkada nunchi ikkada varaku ikkada nunchi ikkada varaku annan ani cheppesi adi mottham batti vattukol nakka ante no no need to by heart the answers so i will explain three level architecture means the data manam data ne ekkada store chestam database lo store chestamu aa database ni any levels lo divide chesaru three levels ga divide chesaru what are the three levels external level conceptual level and internal level this is an external level conceptual level and internal level this is the database mana data anedi ikkada untadi we are external level for example usmania university when results are out you will check your hall ticket results okay so you will check your result neeku ni result e ganipistadi gaani university under university affiliated entha mandi students rasnaro vallandar results aithe ni ganipiyadu kada vallandaru results anedi database lo store aitayi who is handling the dba a of usmania university person but we are only an external level manaki only external level మనకి ఇదే కనిపిస్తుంది దాని వెనకాల ఏముంది అనేసి మనకు కనిపించదు కదా ఓకే సో ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ అనేది కంపల్సరీగా డ్రా చేయాలి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఏం లేదు కాన్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్ కాన్సెప్షువల్ లెవెల్ ఇంటర్నల్ లెవెల్ అండ్ డేటాబేస్ అని చెప్పేసి ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ డ్రా చేసి ఈచ్ లెవెల్ని ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయాలి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్లో ఏముంటుంది వి మనం ఉంటాము అంటే వేర్ వీఆర్ సీయింగ్ ద డేటా ఓన్లీ ద రిక్వైర్డ్ డేటా వీఆర్ నాట్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ద హోల్ డేటాబేస్ రైట్ వీఆర్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ఓన్లీ అవర్ డేటా by entering your hall ticket number only it will show your results it will not show your friends result but without entering your number right that is called as external level what are the external level advantages it allows multiple persons to work to on database right no so while checking usmania university results many thousands lakhs of uh, students will check their results at the one time only that time everyone has a uh, access right so this is the advantage of external level okay so i hope you are getting my point so this is the external level and the next one is conceptual level next one is conceptual level what is mean by conceptual level conceptual level represents the global view of data environment within external views for example this level and if you level for example i will take in a college database principal he is the head me college lo principal head okay principal ki student data view je, view chesukochu faculty data view chesukochu and management data kuda access chesukochu kani student ki atla untada undadu student has no access to see any data except student data vaala data tappa vera data use chesukone chance anedi varaku undadu alle faculty ki principal data use chesukone chance untada undadu only students data use chesukone chance anedi untundi conceptual level ante at macro level ante big level of data environment ani ardamu ardam ainda so deeniki advantages enti it provides macro level view of data environment and the second one is it is a software and hardware independent okay so it does not have any impact on data design database design la emi emandaru impact anedi choopiyadu ani antunnaru what is the internal level internal level represents the physical representation of data okay this is the lowest level of data where everything stored here only okay students no person can view this internal level everyone are related to the external level only because data is stored in fields physical sequence stored records and so on itla meeru raayali if you want to take screenshot you can take just manaki this diagram is important and this answer whole answer you should explain by your own for eight marks side by side two papers must and should and the next important question in first unit is dba who is dba 
what are his roles and responsibilities dba stands for database administrator okay so what are the different roles means first he has a managerial roles end user support means what is that end user support dba provides the following data means he will interact with the end user he will interact with the end user he is the person who is maintaining database from the person who is seeking the data from the server who is providing the data he act as a middle person right what are his roles collecting user requirements if you want to search our channel in google he will collect the information required then providing solutions to the information read after searching our uh, youtube channel you will get a plenty of information regarding our channel right so that is he is this is his roles and responsibilities next one policies procedures and standards what is mean by policies procedure and standards policies are statements that are used to support direction of dba go goals means vala kantu vala goals ni goal edaithe undo a professional goal edaithe undo succeed ganike they have some policies and programs where he need to follow that right procedure vala oka written instructions anedi untundi according to that only he should perform everything next data security and privacy integrity vala em chestaru data ni secure chestaru privacy ga untaru data anedi consistent correct integrity means consistent డేటా అనేది కరెక్ట్ వేలో ఉన్నదా లేదా అనేది చూస్తారు దిస్ ఈజ్ హిస్ రోల్ నెక్స్ట్ డేటా బ్యాకప్ అండ్ రికవరీ డేటా బేస్ లో ఉన్న డేటాని బ్యాకప్ ని రికవర్ని చేసే రోల్ అనేది ఎవరి దగ్గర ఉంది డిబిఏ దగ్గర ఉంది హీ హ్యాస్ దట్ రోల్ అండ్ కెపాసిటీ టు డూ దట్ వర్క్ నెక్స్ట్ డేటా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ యూజ్ డేటా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ యూజ్ మీన్స్ హీ విల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ ద డేటా టు అథెంటిక్ పీపుల్ ఇన్ ఎ కరెక్ట్ ఫార్మాట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఆస్కింగ్ అన్ ఇమేజ్ పిక్చర్ హీ షుడ్ ప్రొవైడ్ మీ ద ఇమేజ్ పిక్చర్ దట్ ఈస్ హిస్ డేటా డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ యూజ్ అండ్ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ టెక్నికల్ రోల్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ టెక్నికల్ రోల్స్ టు డిజైన్ ద ఇంప్లిమెంట్ అండ్ అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా to test and evaluation database and whether the database is correct format or not he need to check uh, he need to check that okay these are his roles what are his functions what are the functions of dba defining the scheme of database defining the scheme of database means two two types like conceptual scheme and internal scheme okay the next one is modifying scheme of database modifying scheme of database means if any changes required in the database he will change that he will modify the database okay next authorizing the users users whether the user is a authorized person or a fake person or a hacker he need to check by giving the emails etc etc okay next communicating with the users how will how he will communicate with the users by email chat support etc etc he will communicate with their users next one is regular maintenance regular maintenance means monitoring performance whether the database is security or not and regular backup he should be there availability of free place in that database he should mention that <coughs> he should mention and he should check that whether the space is there in database or not this is the dba roles and functions is an important question okay and the next one is er model entity relationship model this is also an important question students so don't neglect this question this is an important question er model what is the er model means structure of database using a diagram we are storing the data in a database using a diagram is called entity relationship model that is er model how many types we are having components entities attributes and relationship entity means here i will show you the example student customer department like this he is dividing right attributes attributes means in student what are the things we will uh, include student name student id student hall ticket number student phone number student age student course everything we will include in that student database that is called attribute next one is relationships relationships means we are linking the one data to another data for example chain the notation customer creates accounts customer to accounts he is what he is doing creating the accounts 
right so what are the advantages of er model we are having er model results in conceptual thinking conceptual visualization modeling he it will visualize the conceptual level okay next effective communication tool because of visualizing presentation instead of text we are using diagrams it will be more convenient and more easy to understand right and the third one disadvantages of what is means it has limited constraints it does not uh, data dml command it does not support it seems it results to information loss it seems these are all disadvantages of er model okay students so this is the er model uh, using uh, like a student perspective okay so one another question they may ask about the explain er model and uh, explain about the student database like that they will ask so what are the types of er model we are having rectangle type ellipse type diamond type line type double eclipse dashed eclipse double rectangle double lines just to draw this table it will be enough just to draw this table it is an important question so try to draw this table i will upload this pdf in uh, telegram channel okay so this is the four important questions from first unit students try to learn all these units now we will discuss about the unit number two normalization normalization in our channel i have already uploaded a video so try to watch that video here i will tell about the what are the rules of normalization we are having where we are storing the data using normal forms to standardized format is known as normalization there are 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf so try to watch the video you will be more understand about that concept okay any question same answer if you watch that video this is the first and last question from unit number 2 okay these are all normalization answer only if you uh, learn from material means you will not at all understand so that's why try to watch the video you will easily get uh, 10 marks by watching that video okay so part b in part sorry in from unit number 3 the first question what i have said sql commands here it is different ddl commands used sql commands what are the different ddl commands we are having ddl stands for data definition language it is known as data definition language what are the commands we are having create command alter command drop command describe command and rename command just what you need to keep the heading create this command is used to create a table syntax you should write create table table name for example column name data type null like this here this much it is enough no need to learn this all just this much okay this is about the create or else you can example explain with the example how we will enter the creatable create table and table name customer is a table name and cid cid means customer id integer not null this type of alter also alter keep heading and till here you should write okay and example also this is so try to learn this command it is very much and guaranteed question which will come in unit number three it is not that much easy uh, like um, uh, not to learn any like explanation just remember this syntaxes okay and another concept is joints concept how many joints we are having inner join outer join self join and cross join diagrams you need to draw students so only two questions if you want to learn joints and views concept you can learn okay so this is the third third unit fourth unit what you are having the first question is acid properties acid properties that is a means stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability try to learn this meanings and try to write the whole answer by your own this is the first important question and the second important question is what is lock different types of locks types of locks means binary lock we will have shared lock we will have what is mean by binary lock like this you need to learn what is mean by shared lock in shared lock exclusive lock shared lock everything you will have ma okay so different what is mean by locking explain different types of locks this is also an important question and the third most important question is deadlock and its prevention what is mean by deadlock deadlock is unwanted situation in database when one transaction is waiting for another transaction to release the log for example suppose a transaction t holds an exclusive call exclusive lock on some data item so this is all the example if you learn means you will easily get to know 
so what are the deadlock preventions we are having weight die what are the weight die advantages and what are the weight die disadvantages next one bounded weight what are the advantages and disadvantages two types we are having prevention techniques try to learn that okay next one is the last important question from unit number four is this is the most important question ma database recovery and database security this is a most important question database recovery means process of restoring the database process of restoring the data from database is called data recovery what are the different methods we are having to data recovery what is mean by data security as i said data security means containing policies and programs to protect the data by creating passwords and etc like secrecy integrity availability try to explain this okay so what is mean by uh, secrecy means a student should not be allowed to examine other student grades as i said you are allowed to see only your results it is not at all having any right to see other results until and until you will get hall ticket number what is mean by integrity student may be allowed to see the grades yet not allowed to modify them means మీ వేరే వాళ్ళ డేటాని నువ్వు చూడొచ్చు కానీ దాన్ని నువ్వు ఎడిట్ చేయలేవు మాడిఫై చేయలేవు అని అంటున్నాడు వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ బై అవైలబిలిటీ అన్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్టర్ హూ విషెస్ టు చేంజ్ ఎ గ్రేడ్ షుడ్ బీ అలౌడ్ టు డ్యూ సో ఓన్లీ యువర్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ హ్యాజ్ అ రైట్ టు చేంజ్ ద గ్రేడ్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ రిజల్ట్ ఓకే స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద డేటా బేస్ సెక్యూరిటీ దిస్ ఈస్ అన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ లాస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రమ్ యూనిట్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ యూనిట్ మా in fifth unit what i have said structure of distributed database management system ddbms so it is not much important so try to look at on that so what is the advantages and disadvantages of <coughs> ddbms that is distributed database management system what are the advantages we are having it facilitate to add new sites affecting the operations these are all uh, advantages try to learn any five advantages and the disadvantages is data integrity backup security recovery techniques these all will not have in database distributed database management system and advantages and disadvantages of rdbms is also an important question data replication will be asked for two marks ma here to here is enough for two marks okay and data fragmentation is also important for two marks okay and the last question is client server architecture important eight marks question client server architecture who is client server architecture server means here clients we are having three clients server is providing the information to first client second client and third client that is called client server architecture so try to remember this diagram and try to write all this answer by your own okay students so this is all about the video so i will upload this pdf in telegram group so try to watch uh, check out in telegram group okay so previously i do have explained every topic in a related to rdbms subject so try to watch that playlist is available in our channel okay so all the very best students for the examination and preparation uh, see you all in the next video and do comment me in the comment section how you felt about the video and after writing the examination how question paper got you please comment me in the comment section thank you so much all the very best good luck okay